Hey guys, and welcome to another Fun with Minecraft episode. This is the 1.7 update. And as you can see in my hand, I've got something a little new. Some interesting things have been added in this update. Some bug fixes, but mostly some very, very cool new things. And I wanted to kind of head out here and show you some of the things I've been working on. I also wanted to kind of welcome you to my furthest out base in my private world. Completely level it. <laughs> anyway, not the point of this video. So out here, probably the biggest thing that has come out in this particular update would be pistons. Ooh. Now these are a lot of fun and a lot of headache. Now if you want to do something simple like this, sure. Hey look, I made the block move. Isn't that cool? Hey, I made it move again. Hey, this is fun. Wow. Okay, but what do I get when I do that? I don't know. <laughs> now, one thing that I did find is somewhat useful is if you want to make columns that it ends up being a lot simpler you can just instantly build one quite simply like that and as far up as you need so you could almost build a house like that if you were so inclined and I guess something else I can point out we have a new cobblestone texture uh, for anyone who watches my LP, I've already pointed out at some later episode that I do kind of like this one. It's a little more subdued, and it seems like whatever that was white in here before has now been changed to a gray. So, it's kind of nice looking. Alright, so, moving on. This was probably the biggest headache with redstone I have ever had. And for, once again, those of you who watch the LP... You probably won't get to see me do too much with pistons or redstone in the future because of just how much of a headache this stuff is. <laughs> Ugh. Headache. Ugh. Evil. <laughs> anyway, one of the really cool things to do with pistons that uh, is somewhat... This is somewhat similar to what was in the 1.7 preview video that Mojang actually put out. But... I'm pretty happy with what I managed to come up with, as much extra stone as I had to put around to hide all the wiring. So you're just walking on up, and you're like, hmm, that's weird. Why do the stairs lead right into a wall? Hmm. Ooh, and it goes right on through. Spiffy. <laughs> ah, yes. That took far longer than it should have to figure out. Because the biggest pain was figuring out how to actually wire up three pistons to actually go off at the same time. Anyway, moving right along. Something else new. These. These are shears. What can you do with shears? Well, you can shear a sheep. And if I can get over there later, I will point out. I will actually show you how to do that. But the other thing you can do with shears is now you can finally trim leaves really, really fast. And what's also cool is that the shears also allow you leaf blocks to be picked up and used. And as you can see here, I've already got quite a supply. And the interesting thing about these particular trees, well, they're not on dirt. So, how did they get here? Well, now that we can place leave blocks, I've built myself a couple little trees just for you guys to show off this cool new feature. And pretty much like this. What's really cool is you notice it's green leaves in my hand, but as soon as you place them, they get their biome specific color instantly, which is really kind of cool. I like that. 
So yes, now you can finally build your own trees. More headache. <laughs> but the next little stop on our tour here of all the new update items. So you can see that we've also got new cobblestone and a new brick texture. And I gotta say, compared to the old brick, this is actually not too bad looking. And I might actually start using brick in the future. This, yeah, the old brick was just so bright and ugly. Anyway, let me turn this on for you guys. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. Take two. Let me go ahead and turn this on for you guys now. Yay! I made a loop. Whee! <laughs> uh, just the silliness you can do with pistons now. I figured this would be a fun way to show off the two new block textures. <laughs> anyway, that's going to get rather annoying, so let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. Very nice. Now, something else before we move on to some other things you can do with pistons. Something Notch now has allowed us to do finally in this update is to actually place fences on fences amongst other things, so you can now finally build yourself some very interesting things without having to do the crazy dirt trick, which this used to be the only way possible to build something similar. This still works, but now that you can do it yourself, why bother? <laughs> okay, so let's see. What am I leaving out? Before we go to there, let's see. Pistons, fences, ah yes. TNT, I don't believe I have any on me here, otherwise I would show you, but TNT now requires either redstone power or fire to actually go off. So when you punch a piece of TNT, it'll actually just pop like this dirt block just did, but much faster, it's I think instantaneous. It, not really actually sure if there's any other block in the game that does that. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Shears showed you the leaves, and... Well, let's see, since there's a pig over here... It's still raining. Okay, good. Rain... Never mind. It seems to rain a heck of a lot more since the 1.7 update. Anyway. There we go, finally. Why is it there are never, ever mobs around when you need them? Anyway, now that we have finally found some sheep, I'm going to go ahead and show you the actual shearing. Find a sheep, walk up to it, have your shears in hand, and then right-click. Stop pushing. And bam. Instantly sheared. Hey, hey. That's kind of cool, I suppose. And to help the uh, spawn cap from being hit so quickly, just go ahead and kill them off when you're done, and you might get some more sheep pretty quick. Now the thing is, you can't actually do anything like this to get them to drop their wool anymore. You actually have to use the shears. And if you think, oh, that's fine, I'll just kill them and then see if they drop anything. Well, while it's true that in this update sheep will now drop wool, when you kill them, they will always only drop one. So, shears are now your only very efficient way of actually getting wool. And as I was walking around looking for sheep, I realized I realized that there's something I wanted, or rather, something I forgot to point out to you guys. So yes, I realized there was something I wanted to show you guys, and that is how to actually make the pistons. And you could probably just go and check uh, Minepedia to find out real quick how to make them yourself, but hey, I figured, what the heck, I'm here now, and I, I'll show you guys. So, you need some wood up top, and you need cobble down the side, and hopefully I'm not wrong about this and making a fool of myself. You put iron in the middle, and redstone underneath, and bam, you've got yourself a piston. Now, the fun ones, the sticky pistons, the way I made the retractable doors here, and uh, the silly loop over there. 
Well, that's pretty simple. You take a regular piston, and you take a slime ball, which, yes, they finally, finally have a use. And you apply the slime to the piston, and you now have a sticky piston. So, there you go. And now I think to round out this episode, this video, this 1.7 update fun, I want to show you the big finale. This one, once I figured out how to do certain things, didn't take as long as those doors over there, but definitely a pain nonetheless. And I figured if, since I'm doing this, I might as well do it upright. So yes, those are all iron blocks that I have actually mined, but never had a use for yet. I think before I turn this on, there's only one other thing to mention about this update. Well, two, I guess. Uh, apparently the squid spawn rate has gone way up, so black ink should no longer be a very big issue. So if you have a big need for black wool, then you should now be covered a lot better. And the last thing is that now when you hit F3, in addition to your XYZ, you can also have an F. And what is F? Well, it has to do with the, di with the direction you are facing. Isn't that kind of cool? So let's see. I believe that's west, and I'm not entirely sure why, but west is zero. So you got east at two. Got north at one, and south at three. And I hope I got that right. <laughs> uh, oops, F3. All right. So, this was kind of somewhat inspired by something I saw Ko do when he was playing around with the piston mod way back. And I figured, hey, I want to see if I could build that myself. So, without any further ado, let's get this thing going. <laughs> And let's walk around back so we don't have to look at all that ugly wiring. Yes! There's an infinite loop! <laughs> uh. Well, I think that's about all there is for this update, guys. As you saw earlier, I am at 173, so yes, this update video is quite a bit late. But as far as I can tell, that's pretty much everything that is in 1.7. So, as I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys again for the 1.8 adventure update, and I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Right, this has been Nocturne. I will see you guys later.